Get ready for Host at Home, Adam's Archives. Lincoln County made Pat Garrett sheriff to bring in Billy the Kid. In Broken Neck, they make you sheriff for target practice. You see, this here's the town from hell, and a lawbreaker's heaven. Plenty who come here meet their maker. But folks keep a coming anyway. That's cause there's money to be won. 5,000 union dollars to the man or woman who beats our outlaws. Three more souls are on their way down here. Pray for them. Here they come, riding towards their destiny. They cast their lives to the hands of fate. My name is Chris Biscan, and I'm a broadcast engineer with NEP Super Shooters, uh, originally from Dayton, Ohio. It's my job consists of uh, maintaining the equipment, uh, we specialize in on-location television shows. Then we do uh, sports, you know, from college football to NFL to the Academy Awards. My name is Elisa Hensley. I develop fitness programs for people. I find I have a real enthusiasm for helping other people because I find such a pleasure in my own strength and feeling capable in whatever I do. It carries over into other areas of my life, and I really enjoy sharing that with other people. I'm a trail guide out in uh, Hollywood, and I also have horses at home. I've been riding all my life since I was about seven or eight years old, and I just can't stay away from it. My uh, name's Troy Vesey. I'm from Norco, California. Right now, I'm a contractor. Yeah, I've gone out and played with a few bulls. Uh, it's a rush. Your adrenaline is really flowing. It's pumping. I've done a couple of rodeos. Just the bull riding event, and that's it their fates in the hands of deadly outlaws. Outlaws like Kid, he's wanted for murder and kidnapping, dead or alive. Silk, everybody wants her for bigamy, extortion, and assault. Three Fingers, wanted in nine states for rustling, robbery, and murder. That's Pharaoh. There's a price on her head for cheating, robbery, and murder. Breath. He's wanted for robbery, cheating, and murder. Now, I know they come from far away and they're all kind of beat, but if they want to stay alive in the West, they better be good on a horse. So we got a little race fixed up here, see how well they ride. Gambling money keeps the town alive. And whoever winds up alive gets them. They gonna have to ride around town twice snagging mailbags along the way. First one across the finish line with three mailbags is the winner and gets a hundred dollar prize. Badger fires a shot and starts him running. When he shoots, you better start running. Elisa and Troy grab up their first bags. Chris misses him. Come around the back side of town. Chris is ahead now. We lost Troy. Must be trying to figure out how his horse works. Elisa and Chris get the hanging bags, and they both come around the far turn. Get another bag. Now Lisa has all three. Chris only has two. Hope Troy got a hold of that map. Chris gets his third bag, and they put on the speed. It's gonna be tight. 
Alisa and Chris are both racing hard with all three bags. Chris wins it by a length. Alisa's right behind him. And Troy heads in while he's still young. <laughs> Good job, baby. Just the bags to get there all day. That's a darn close race. Hey, Chris, I'm Casey Clark for the How Broken Neck Gazette. Casey? Good. Can I ask you a couple questions? Well, you ask me as many as you want. Yeah. Well, congratulations, well, you thank won. You. Yeah. I guess all of the outlaws got together and yeah. they made some bets. And so your share of the winnings is $100. Is that right? Yeah. Well, that's not bad. So tell me about the race. Yeah, I started off, I uh, got my horse too close to the bale and he wanted to jump that first bag. So I had to go on around, grab my other two, and come back, and grab that third one, and then make my second lap. Felt pretty good. You came in second. You just got beat out by one length. You yeah. had three bags. You did all yeah. right. Yeah, Chris is just a really good rider. I'll, I'll give it to him. I heard you're a good rider, too, and you've got well, a lot of experience. Doing I hang in there. I've, I've been riding most of my life. I started when I was about seven or eight, and I just can't stay away from it. I've got horses at home. I work with them part time. I just love riding. Great. Is that your favorite thing to do? Uh, I wouldn't say my favorite. Maybe my second favorite. What's your favorite? Cowboys and ice cream. Looks like Troy took the wrong street in a one-street town. What happened? I just got a little out of control in the start. Yeah? Well, we lost you. What, where were you? I was in there. I got my three bags, but came in last. Sure hope those folks can heal up this town, but they can't let those outlaws catch them napping like that if they want to go for the big money. is French's with the finest ingredients and the delicious taste everyone loves. French's, the taste America loves. Describe the Skittles combination experience. A fruit tsunami. A fruity gully wash. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> exactly. Skittles bite sized candy. Taste the rainbow of fruit flavor. It's a connection spit of fruitiness. People care these days. They just don't want me to put another toxic antifreeze in their car. I mean, who needs something that toxic? So what if it protects to 70 below? Any antifreeze can do that. Give me something different. Something safer. That's essentially non-toxic. I mean, what if their dog gets into it? Or their kids? This is serious. Sierra, it's not just antifreeze. It's safety freeze. That's Pharaoh up there. She's got enough dynamite to send that water tower to the thirsty folks in heaven. That tower holds our water supply, but it won't for long if you don't get up there fast. So y'all are gonna have to climb up there and pull the fuse before the dynamite explodes. You're first, ma'am. Better stay awake, boys. You're next. Pharaoh don't want anyone messing with her dynamite. It's her favorite kind, with a 45-second fuse. 
45 seconds and the town skyline gets a considerable change. Only Lisa can save it now. Lisa gets her start climbing fast. Her hat sails off and the sun's right in her eyes. Meantime, Pharaoh's struggling hard just to get a foothold. And Elisa makes it right to the top, pulls herself on that tower. And gets the fuse in time. Reckon Pharaoh's at the end of her rope. Lisa got up there in 25 seconds, Chris. You better go smoking. Yeah, here we go. Trouble on the tower again. When kids in town, there's trouble everywhere. Chris has to get that dynamite fast. And kids fixing to slow him down. Whoa! Chris loses his step and is out. Now Kid can get him, and he does. Kid grabs Chris's legs and pulls hard. Chris tries to hold on, tries hard. Kid gets him by the gun belt. And pulls him off the tower. There goes the tower. We won't be patching that leak with a bit of chaw. Reckon Chris forgot which way is up. His luck got to running kind of muddy. Chris, hey. you lost. Yeah, I did, love. Didn't Not I? that you're a loser, but well, you lost I understand what time. you're saying. You know, I got a little more concerned about that dynamite going off than I did about where I was putting my yeah, feet. Yeah, if you, know, if you so. had to do it again, would you use a different strategy? Well, or? you know, probably slow down a little bit, watch where I'm going, you know, yeah. and uh, just go go about it that way. Looked like Chris didn't get lit. How about you, Troy? Let's see what you do. Dog breath's hankering to finish off that tower. And finishing off is what dog breath does best. Troy gets his start on the tower and climbs like up was down. Dog breath is right behind him. He gets a hold of Troy's leg. His first mistake. And his last one, too. Toy gets up top and grabs that dynamite fuse in plenty of time. I reckon Dog Breath does this just for kicks. There's Elisa climbing to a rapid success. Lisa, you beat Pharaoh in 25 seconds. It, it was tough, but made it up there. You won the reward from the folks of Broken Neck. They all got together, they pitched in a bunch of money, and they're going to give you a reward of $100 for winning. Well, thank you. What made you want to come out west and be a cowgirl? Uh, well, I've heard these poor men are having trouble keeping keep track of their outlaws, so, you know. So they needed a good woman to come in and, and shape go. things up, didn't they? Women's work is never done. They're all going to get more chances to win some of the town's money. The one who does the best will get into the final showdown.
But only one of them can go for the big prize. Whoever's left. <laughs> Do you suffer from poor sleep? Are you plagued by bed cause aches and pains? Do you snore or toss and turn all night? Then for good sleep's sake, get these two free booklets. This is the A to Z guide to better sleep, and it's published as a public service by the nonprofit Better Sleep Council. It's filled with 20 pages of facts and recommendations on how to get a good night's sleep. And this free booklet is all about adjustable beds. Read it, and you'll discover how through the use of adjustability, heat, and massage, you may relax and sleep better, temporarily relieve low back pain, and increase blood circulation in your legs. Both of these informative booklets are free and will be mailed to you at absolutely no cost or obligation. So don't hesitate. For a good night's sleep, call this toll-free number. Call toll-free 1-800-824-2300. That's 1-800-824-2300. Toll-free 1-800-824-2300. That's three fingers. He likes to see how many times he can make you bounce. But don't feel too bad for him. The one who gets free first is going to come away with $100. <laughs> sure hope it's worth it. We'll show you why we call it broken neck. Toy goes for a brisk bundle inspection. and a brisk release. Well, you finished in 16 seconds, so that was a really, really good time. We'll see how that holds up later. But somebody told me that you ride bulls. A little bit. Yeah, tell me about that. I get on them every once in a while. Don't know if I can ride them. Elisa's going to have to be mucho rapido to beat Troy. Lisa gets up that rope like she's got an itch. Her dust cloud lasts longer than she did. a nice girl like you doing being drugged through town on the back of a horse just playing with the boys playing with the boys okay you do that often I try you looked like you did pretty well at the very beginning and then you got up to the end did you have a little trouble unhooking it's it's a long haul up there yeah I bet old three fingers like to have another two right now Chris gets yanked off the raw hide. His hide's got to be raw. He's up the rope and free. <laughs> you could plant taters in his shirt. Looks like the outlaws took a fancy to Chris. Hope he don't accept any party invitations. They usually call for a rope necktie. Folks, 
act like they got something against being scraped along the ground behind the galloping horse. Congratulations, Troy. Your time held up of 16 seconds. What can I quote you on in the paper? Because you're a big hero around here now. Well, I figure we're going to take this town. You won a $100 reward from all the folks around here. Now, I heard the outlaws are a little bit fired up about that. They want to take the reward from you. Well, they can come on down. You'll take them, right? But I'm used to kicking dogs around, so. Reckon they saved their skins, but it ain't going to clean up the town. Romeo, Juliet, let's try it again. Again? Art thou bored? Yeah. Stab into a Slim Jim. <laughs> Need a little excitement? Stab into a Slim Jim. When you're the eyes and ears of a million people, you can't let your stomach get in the way. So I carry Snickers. Roasted peanuts, milk chocolate, caramel. Snickers satisfies. It's not like any toothpaste I've ever used. Brush just once with new Arm & Hammer Peroxicare, and you'll feel dentist clean. It's like this bubbly, sparkly, fresh, clean feeling. Brush just once. Feel dentist clean. It's got more baking soda than anybody else. Plus peroxide. The stuff that dentists recommend. New Arm & Hammer Peroxicare releases thousands of tingly oxygen bubbles that work at the gum line where your toothbrush can't reach. You feel like your dentist just cleaned your teeth. Brush just once with new Arm & Hammer Peroxicare. Feel dentist clean. Here comes the stage. Outlaws right behind him. Hope those cowboys are ready for trouble. Years ago, the world belonged to the dinosaurs. Within a couple months, he had gone through the Hooked on Phonics, and we could not stop him from reading every book he could get his hands on. Hooked on Phonics answered two of my prayers, really, for him. It gave him confidence. He's a different child now and it made him a person who loves to read. We really believe that any child, any child, can benefit from Hooked on Phonics. Call 1-800-ABCDEFG. Stage is loose again. Happens a lot around here. They got to save those passengers. One of them owes me money. Chris is going to try and stop that stage before the team slows down and makes it too easy. Chase is on. Chris better encourage that horse if he wants to get there. Hold on, Chris, you're too far away. He jumps anyway. Whoa, almost time to hit the road. Chris stops the stage, but just barely on time. That's no good way to board a runaway stagecoach, but then there is no good way. Now, Chris, that was a wild ride. I yeah, thought you were going to fall though? off the back of that. Well, yeah, we I had my hand on the rail, you know, so uh, that was my last shot. I reached out, and once I grabbed it, I decided to go for it. Once I got there, I made myself up and over it. Well, you did a great job. You have a time of 25.07. Is that right? And up to this point, you, Troy, and Elisa are all tied at $100 each. Okay. So whoever wins this event is going to win $200, and that's going to pull somebody way ahead. Guess Troy likes a good challenge, or two good $100 bills. Troy's horse gallops fast. 
He is right up to that stage. Jumps aboard, over the top, and stops her cold. Wow, Troy, that was some time, 15.19 seconds. Thank you. Well, you cleaned 10 seconds off of Chris's time, which was 25.07, so you're doing great. Good, we'll it's gonna be just hard have to, to hope that. that time holds up. Now the stage is set for Elisa. She rides and rides hard, but the stage team is riding harder. Elisa can't seem to catch that stage. But she comes back. Her chances are short, but her legs are long. And she makes the transfer. She gets over the top quick. But the chase took too long, and the time runs out. Elisa don't take kindly to the word lose. Lisa, <laughs> you look mad. I'm a little mad. What happened? <laughs> just, just didn't make it up there in time, I guess. Got my foot caught on that last part, so it was a little pain, but I'm just glad to make it through alive, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the hardest part of this event? Um, depends on what you get stuck on, really. It's, it's, you just got to have timing and get them on up there. And if you don't, if you get, don't get it on the first chance, you're kind of out of luck, really. Troy, you won. Congratulations. Thank you. Now you've got $200 from this event. You had $100 from the first event that you won. And altogether that makes $300. Hope they don't get their hopes too high. If they want the big money, they got a long old road to trot. Well, are you going to have some, what, milk chocolate? The kind that tugs at your soul, melting your willpower bit by bit, little M by little M. And you asked me if I'm going to have some. It was just a question. <laughs> you and your questions. Sorry. In 1928, they discovered the doorway. What is that? Stargate. On October 28th. I'm here in case you succeed. Two men will discover the key to open it. Jackson's identified the seventh symbol. But what will they find? We've opened up a doorway to a world we know nothing about. On the other side. Prepare to enter the Stargate. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, October 28th. What's it like to experience? Skittles. Skittles bite-sized candies. A dizzy taste tizzle. A fruit. It's a fuzzy, buzzy free-for-all. Look, every Skittles combination is a new experience. Taste, Taste the rainbow of fruit flavors. flavors. It's the rumpus room of fructiferousness. So far, Chris has won a $100 horse race. Alisa has won 100 on the water tower. And Troy has $300. 
One hundred for the rawhide drag, and two hundred for the stagecoach. There's plenty more money to be won here today. If folks want to get any further, they're going to have to shoot it out. There's a reward for every outlaw they can plug. Those cowboys got a minute to get past the outlaws. They get $50 for every outlaw they can hit and 100 for whoever gets through the quickest. They're only shooting paint, but whoever's hit's gonna go down. Three outlaws are awaiting. George in the loft, Silk on the balcony, and Badger in the street. Troy don't know the meaning of the word fear. Somebody ought to send him a dictionary. He keeps George dancing and gets him. Troy makes a dash for it, and he gets his hat shot off. He hits Silk. He slides behind the trough. There's a reload waiting, but Troy forgets it's there. He hits Badger shooting hard. And he made it through that ambush quick and unpainted. Mighty fast, 32 seconds. Thank you. We'll see if your time holds up. Have you ever had any target practice before? Yeah, a little hunting practice and shooting. My father and grandfather taught me how to hunt and shoot. Chris heads into a hailstorm of bullets. George dodges those paint bullets like they was flaming arrows. Chris dives for cover and a reload. He hits Silk in the head. Chris makes it past Maddie and heads for safety. He checks for paint shed and finds it. to the gut. I did. Gut shot. You know, it's kind of the worst ones to have. I better go see Doc as soon as we finish up here. Oh, know? yeah? <laughs> did it hurt or did it tickle? No, you know, I didn't feel it. Uh, I heard him yell out that I got hit. But uh -huh. I, I, if you look at my pants, I think it came off of my gun belt and kind of ricocheted up. Uh -huh. So I didn't really feel it. That's why I kept going, you know, finish it out. Yeah. But uh, after I got to the end and I took a look, oh, he hit me dead center right in the belly button. Mm, sorry about that. At well, least you already yeah. have a hole there, so. Alisa's ready to shoot or get shot. She makes a run. She shoots George. Does she get silk too? Because she's close. Elisa goes for her reload. She fires at silk to distract her. Her hat gets hit. That don't matter. If it ain't her body, she ain't dead. She gets past Badger and hits the porch and friendly territory.
Well, Lisa, I guess that's one way of getting your colors done, huh? <laughs> yeah, I got a little something to take home now, I guess. <laughs> yeah, take that off. Let me see that. It's a wow. A little bit of a... Didn't Did that hurt? Did you feel that at all? I didn't feel a thing. No? I was just in a rush to get finished, I guess. Well, of course, it doesn't count, because they have to hit you down here. Yeah. So you did a Got good lucky job. that way. <laughs> uh, 43.9 seconds, so you had a real fast time, and you hit George, so you got $50. So that's good. All right. Sounds good. What was the best part about it? Um, everything, really. I'm just used to running around and rolling in the dirt. I've got an older brother, and I do a lot of shooting, so it was just second nature to me, really. Troy, you really made a bundle. A hundred dollar reward for winning the event, plus one hundred fifty dollars. Two hundred fifty dollars. I'll take it. They're moving closer to the final showdown, but so is trouble. Try to get up, Homer. I can't. Too bad, man. Why, you little scrap! <laughs> Crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery Butterfinger. Nobody better lay a finger on my better finger. It's a double fresh taste for you. It's a double fresh breath for you know who. Well, it freshens your mouth and it freshens your breath. Double, double, mm -hmm. double mint gum. Clean fresh taste for you. Clean fresh breath for you know who. That's the double freshness you get with double mint gum. Well, it freshens your mouth and it freshens your breath. He's gone. So's my ballistics. Let's try to catch up. No, these lips aren't going anywhere. But use this. Nah. What's the difference? Moisture. Of all leading brands, only Blistex ointment contains moisture in an advanced moisture system plus medication that penetrates to relieve dry, cracked lips. There it is. The deer? No. My Blistex. <laughs> oh, that's a relief. Medicated Blistex. <laughs> Say goodbye to dry. Ooh. My little buddy sleeping like a baby. You won't mind if I take a bite of his crispity, crunchity peanut. I told you, Homer. Uh. Nobody better lay a finger on my butterfinger. Another brawl in the saloon. Our cowboys got to stop it by fetching out the main rowdies. If they do it in 45 seconds, they get $200. They gonna kill each other in there. That three fingers is a real rattler. Chris, you get him out of there, that might stop it. But watch out, he bites. Three fingers likes a good fight but he likes a bad one even better. Looks like old Chris can handle himself pretty good. We'll see how he handles three fingers. Three fingers is jerking Chris around like a dead dog on a leash. But Chris is getting him closer to the door. But not for long. Time is running out. If the bartender fires off his shotgun the 45 seconds, it's up. Too late. Get out of here so we can get some peace and quiet. Too bad for Chris. Poker players ain't too particular. Oh, Chris, so <laughs> close. 
so still much fun. Close. You didn't get him out of that bar. That's true. I had him close, but yeah, that's just couldn't get enough into it, you know? Yeah. Well, you did a great job today. You know, you won Pony Express. You got a $100 reward. You helped clean up Broken Neck. We well, really appreciate your help. Well, that's why I showed up here. Reckon Pharaoh didn't like losing to Elisa on the water tower. And her favorite sport is revenge. I always took a fancy to strong women. And here's two of them. But Pharaoh's down and soon to be out. That's the second time today Elisa made Pharaoh wish she'd stay home with the little ones. That was great. That was Thanks. so exciting. It was fun. And you're not even winded hardly at all. Well, a little bit. She's, she's a tough girl. You beat her on the water tower. You yeah. beat her just now. You gave her another chance in the bar, so, you know. Yeah, you did. You had your chance. You did that in 18.2 seconds. Wow. You did a great job. We'll see how your time holds up, because right. this event's worth $200 now, and you've already won $150 up to this point. Only one person ever kicked dog breath off a water tower and lived. That was his mama. He don't plan to let Troy get that privilege. It's a rough one. Troy is thrown down hard. Back up. Troy can't get dog breath to the door. Dog breath pulls him back hard. He tumbles. That don't help Troy. They're up. There's the shotgun. Get out of here. You're underage. Troy gets his kick right out of the saloon. <laughs> Two tough, angry men. They're lucky they're still alive. It's an ugly struggle. day here at Broken Neck. You guys have done a fabulous job for us. We really, really appreciate it. And thank you, too, for giving me something to write about. So I'll have plenty of news for tomorrow. Well, that's okay. You won $100 in Pony Express, Chris. Yeah, thank you so much. And Elisa, you won the Barroom Brawl, as well as the Water Tower event against Pharaoh. So you've done a great job, really. Yeah, thank you, too, very much. And go have fun spending your money. Well, thanks. We will. Troy, I've got good news, and I've got bad news for you. You want the... Bad news first? Bad news first. Okay, bad news is that you got your butt kicked in there, but I really didn't have to tell you that because you, you were there. You, you saw it, yeah. you know. You won $550 altogether, though, today. So you've won a lot of money in reward money, and that means that you're going to go to the final showdown right now. Good luck to you, Troy. Thank you. Looks like we got Troy to go for the big prize. Sure glad I'm not stomping in his boots. If you're tough enough or crazy enough to want to risk your neck to try and clean up our town, write us a letter. Don't write to Broken Neck, though. Mail doesn't get through to here too regular. Write to Wild West Showdown in Los Angeles at this address. my school, you can't make mistakes. I get hungry, I reach for Snickers. Roasted peanuts, milk chocolate, caramel. 
Snickers satisfies. People care these days. They just don't want me to put another toxic antifreeze in their car. I mean, who needs something that toxic? So what if it protects to 70 below? Any antifreeze can do that. Give me something different, something safer, that's essentially non-toxic. I mean, what if their dog gets into it? Or their kids? This is serious. Sierra, it's not just antifreeze, it's safety freeze. Well, are you going to have some? What, milk chocolate? The kind that tugs at your soul, melting your willpower bit by bit, little M by little M? And you asked me if I'm going to have some. It was just a question. <laughs> you and your questions. Sorry. Well, Troy came a real long way to get himself $5,000. If he can make it through town, it's dang near his. There's only one last thing he's got to do to get it. Stay alive. <laughs> That snake bite down the street. And there's dog breath up on the saloon roof, his gun drawed. Badger's up there guarding the balcony. Pharaoh's in the corral just waiting to stop him. Troy's got two minutes to get through town, get his money, and get on his way. If he can do it, the $5,000 is all his. Troy heads for the rooftops to get a bead on the snake bite. He's got good cover. The trade paint shots. And Troy nails him. Troy goes to shoot an outlaw where there ain't none. That's gonna cost him time. up the rope to the next building. Dog Breath is just waiting for him to get there. Troy's on the next roof. Dog Breath tries to shoot him down. Troy plugs Dog Breath. Troy leaps to the third roof and down the other side. He's got to get around Badger on the balcony. So he rides the ladder over and goes down the chimney. Hope nobody's making dinner. He's heading right for that money bag. Now he's just got to get it down. Takes that old telegraph line and hits the ground hard. Pharaoh ain't gonna let him go home rich. They shoot till they're out of bullets, both of them. And Troy makes a run for his horse. Oh. Two minutes are coming up, but who knows how to get a horse to fly? He's heading north, and so is the second half. Troy, you missed it by four seconds. You were two minutes and four seconds. But listen, for being such a good cowboy, we're going to give you a $1,000 reward anyway. How about that? All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Adios. Trouble in this town is never going to go away. Wonder why anybody would want to leave the comfort of home to come here. Don't they know they're going straight to hell?